Hi guys, welcome back to the Funky Evolution Party. I'm Alice Green. Um, and so yeah, um, where have I been? Well, I'm now up to date with all my COVID variants. I can say the last one was built in with a holiday mode. Um, and I now have like the long COVID holiday mode where oh, it's been a glorious in London. It's been like 40 degrees, which is insane. Um, but if you look at the weather patterns over the last couple of years, we actually have like the polar vortex has been splitting, which is like weird. Antarctica has been melting. Um, the whole world has basically had insane cyclones. And, you know, I, I like to do my storm meditation. So I do still keep an eye on what's happening um, on the weather scales. And they are off the scales. Um, but uh, today I thought that actually it's been a while since um, I've got a lot to say because we're in the middle of quite a few star alliances and um, you know we've just had a cancer a new moon and then a Capricorn full moon so it's been like dealing with everybody's emotions and then goat energy like I'm a Capricorn ascendant and I never associated myself with a goat. Um, but recently I have been seeing sort of like like goats, which is quite cute, but like well it's about climbing to the top and like I'm in a basement, you can't see, but I think you might have like this uh for my last place and it is obviously evolved and I've got a lot more canvas to work with and that is where I want to take everybody. Today I had uh Luke, which I you know from the Bible, whatever passage it is which is kind of like a sign for me because we are now at the pivotal point and this is a shout out to Elon. I know you're on holiday, I know. <laughs> so another joke, um, when you're that bright, uh, not mentally bright, but physically bright, um, and not even that physically bright, looking at yourself from a satellite up in space, I wonder how Elon looks um, on his holidays. Anyway, um, I take tanning very, very seriously. Uh, obviously, it's kind of where I started in the gardens. Um, and it's very important for people to take a step back because we had pivotal points where, you know, 1991, the internet came in, and then 2007, you had Facebook, and all of these new techs that are coming through are going to be the next skyrockets and it's up to us how we choose to educate the future so I'm still really pissed off about rubbish um, and recycling and you know well today it's you know it's, it's actually it's quite good for me because like check this out this is huge and there's another one behind me um along with what was it a bag full of like almost you know 500 quid's worth of clothes and I was like I thank you um why are people throwing these things away <laughs> number one number two why how haven't we come up with a creative solution with how you know clean up parties getting on the beaches actually having fun with changing society and it's about us looking at like, do we really want to be this disgusting as humans? Do we want our rubbish floating in oceans? Do we want people to be miserable and boring and bitchy and everything else that comes along with the last, God, however long? And, you know, communities were beautiful back in the day. Neighbors used to have their doors open. And then in the last sort of like 30 years, they just turned into parasites. And it's insane because when you think about food, fashion, human music, what makes people come together? Not just locally, globally, and that's the idea, think globally, act locally. It's so simple. You look after your doorstep, I'll look after my doorstep. Is that anarchism or is that just taking responsibility for yourself and your surroundings? It's like, ownership and it's like no it's not about owning houses and properties and that money doesn't make you rich it you know if you're not actually looking at 
what is valuable in your life, your time. How many people don't take holidays? I'm like, oh, I can't get out of holiday mode when I've just been at home. I, can, I complain about the basement, but 40 degrees here is like amazing and like water fights and all sorts. You can have fun without money and you can be enriched without being rich. So this guy comes along and he's like, oh yeah, I've been in prison and he's trying to like sell products, which is fine. But the idea is that you're not messed up because of you. It's everyone around you who's teaching you shit lessons and there's been no education system. There's nothing that teaches children like computer games, let's kill each other, let's shoot each other, rather than like, oh, this is a sick plant, what medicine could I use? Or, oh, there's an invasion, rather than war, like, bah, 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 bah. It's like weeds or something, they gotta figure out how to solve the problem. Like, I had no idea that China was sending seeds to people that had like poisonous substances, like bugs and all sorts. It's like, really? Can we not just look at humanity? Do we need to go to another planet? Or can we look at this planet and understand it and be like, uh -huh, it's not actually rocket science. But if we want to really you know, Biden's on his way out. Every politician is on their way out. Really, really now we have this block that we could be having fun. Parties. Sorry, my cat's fighting. Um, come on, Jade. Yeah. The idea is that there's the two parts. You know, they say all roads lead to Rome, but I don't know, like, I don't want to go down this consistent, like, you're paying for shit while other people are just, like, robbing us blind. We're modern day peasants, um, we can change that, and people have done in the past, but what happened to us, you know, like, where did we lose the fight? Was it, did we become scared of things, or was it laziness or you know education now is not exclusive it's not like you have to pay thousands of pounds in a university to understand child psychology or um, any subject you want is at your fingertips right now and it's free and I can't understand how in 2022 we still have like bullshit race arguments and gender arguments and yeah, I'm gonna complain about the woman of the year award, like, <sighs> um, so now you have to have a penis to achieve anything in life and it's not fair because I don't associate myself with anything but I've had the most discrimination and it's like, what is everyone's problem? You know, are you angry and upset because you haven't got knocked off your ass and done something about it? Or, you know, I don't need money to feel like I'm something special in life. I <laughs> walk down the road with big pink unicorns. It's just like... And, you know, I've got some bubbles floating around somewhere. And you can really have a nice way of life without buying into the bullshit. So... It's time for everybody to just take a step back, look at actually what is of value to you. Is it money? What's it buying you? Is it the people around you that are like, <sighs> where's the light? Like if you could see some of the stuff that's like seriously just grown from my compost, which I had to turn today. It is hard work. I'm not going to say, oh yeah, like, you know, it is all just fun. Someone has to set the party up. Someone has to get the speakers on site. Someone has to get the food done. When you order food, someone actually has to make food. Um, and that's where each and individual person comes into play and brings their contribution to the party. I can't say that I can change the world by myself. I can really guide you guys in terms of, like death and rebirth this is all of this garden you know you want to talk about abortion and adoption and bringing all these children into a fucked up world with no education system and just poisoning their minds with like computer games of people murdering each other oh but that's fine 
No, it, it's not. Until we saw out the foundations, whatever we build is just going to collapse in sand. Oh yeah, I got my boys watching like the digging underground houses and swimming pools and just like ding, 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 and that's all we have to do. Go underground, get the party started, food, fashion, human music, it's not rocket science. Um, what is your favourite dish? I'm going to make chocolate brownies with amazing icing. So, um... Yeah, basically get your shits together we're basically for this alliance that's gonna kick off so Elon anyone who's tech orientated I can't even get a Wi-Fi connection down here so that's not me but I have the recycling um, school systems there is a lot that we can really change all the governments are collapsing now so it's up to us to get our shit together drop the bullshit You've all got something to bring to the table, so bring it. Um, please like, share, and get the message out there, and have a great weekend. Oh, and by the way, like, go back to my mental health videos. Become lighter as an individual just by lightening the mental load. Spider plants love toxicity, so when I've been dealing with too much fucking toxicity, and I think I've got a power up there, um, it just absorbs it. and. You have the medicine around you. It doesn't come with wearing a mask, although maybe I wouldn't have gone into holiday mode. Um, anyway, have a great day.